Sam here from Sheridan Computers. You may recall previously uh, we took a look at a Synology NAS, the uh, DS220 Plus. It was my first time playing with them really. Um, they were a really good turnkey solution if you want a NAS device that you can just plug hard drives into and go. Um, I was just testing this so I used two one terabyte Western Digital Red hard drives which are not particularly clever. So we're going to um, upgrade them to four terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf. Don't attempt to do this if you are not using RAID 1 or higher. You need to be using a storage pool which has um, some redundancy on it. So if you're using striped drives um, or RAID 0, you aren't able to do this. You're going to have to back all your data up to make the drives, um, to increase the size of the drives. So the procedure is going to be pull a drive, put the new one in, rebuild the array, pull the other drive, um, put the new one in and rebuild the array again which should give us our maximum of four terabytes so we're effectively increasing our drive storage from one terabyte to four terabyte by replacing both of these drives um, before you do this make sure your system is backed up rebuilding RAID arrays on systems can cause problems um, if it's going to fail that's likely the time it's going to do it so make sure your system is backed up before you do this um, if you'd like to hire us for any storage related projects, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and you can get some more details there. If you do find this video useful, then please take the time to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you hit the notifications icon, you may receive notifications of any new videos as they are released. So we just can go ahead and switch over and do this. Right, so I'm going to take the front off. And I'm going to pull the first drive. Now, I'm going to change the, cut the sides off. As you can hear, the um, NAS device has started beeping to warn us that there's a problem with the drive. Uh, and the status light on the front has switched across to yellow. So let's take the drive off. I'm going to grab the new one. So, as I stated, we're going with um, 4 terabyte iron wolf on this. So, we have the drives on now. We're going to put that back in. So that drive is now in the process of spinning up. So if we go into the Synology, you can see straight away that um, our storage is shown as degraded. Um, so if we go into Storage Manager, look at the hard drive, you can see that our new drive's in, um, it's recognised it. We've got 3.6 terabytes available, um, but the drive's not initialized. So um, at this stage, we go to um, storage pools and then volumes. We can see that the storage pool is degraded uh, and the volume is degraded. Expanding the um, tabs down shows the storage pool has been degraded and we can literally just hit repair. So that's the one that we want to repair the 3.6 terabyte go ahead i'm going to repair repair modes fast and then hit reply the data on the new had drive will be erased it's a brand new drive so it's obviously not a problem so now it stopped beeping um and uh Allocation status is showing back as normal and we're showing as healthy. But as you can see here, we're currently repairing. Um, this is going to take a while. So what I'll do is um, I'll pause this here and I'll continue the video uh, once this is finished repairing. Okay, just to pick this back up from um, where we started. So you can see now the storage pool is showing as healthy. Um, this was actually really quick. There's no data on the drive really, to be honest. So um, I wasn't sure how long it was going to take. So as you can see, our drive is now um, showing us healthy. It's online. It's, the uh, drive size is 3.6 terabytes. 
um, the second drive we've still got at 931 um, so the total size of our volume one is still 889 gig so what we're going to do now is exactly the same procedure that we've just done but we're going to pull the second drive now and replace that one so let me switch back that drive's just um, spinning up and then we'll go and take a look that's our NAS. So again, we're showing the storage pool as degraded. Drive 2 shown is not initialized, and we're going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing and just hit repair now. It's a drive that we want to add to the pool. And now it's given us the option to expand the capacity of the volume to about 3.6 terabytes. So we'll go ahead and click that. Next. And apply. Yes, we know the data will get raised. So once again, our device has stopped beeping and we're showing healthy status. But again, we're currently repairing, so we need to wait for the uh, repair to finish. So it's finished the initial repair of the second drive. Um, so the road ray is healthy again. But now we've gone to a second phase of the repairing process and it's gone to expanding. Um, I'm currently at 42%. This has been running for probably just over an hour. Um, so I'll give this some time to finish. The, you can use the NAS at this stage. It, it's, it's showing up as healthy. Everything's fine. You just won't have the uh, maximum space available to you on the drives until this expanding process does finish. At which, stage, at which stage you will have the full capacity of the new drives that you put in available to you. Um, so I'm going to give this some time to finish and then um, I'll pick this up tomorrow when it has actually finished. Right, that's um, finished. So as you can see, the uh, storage pool is showing healthy, the volume is showing healthy, but now we're showing um, 79 meg used out of 3.5 terabytes. So it's uh, expanded the pool. So that being said, um, so I hope you found this useful if you, if you find yourself in a position where you needed to upgrade both drives in a two-bay Synology NAS. It is quite a, quite a straightforward process. Replace one of the drives, rebuild the RAID array, um, replace the other drive, rebuild the RAID array. Uh, I'm sure, ensure that you tick the box to expand the volume to the full size of the drives if that's what you want to do. Uh, it's quite straightforward. I can't stress enough. Make sure that you back up the data before you do this. Um, as I say, rebuilding RAID arrays can cause in drive failure and data loss. So definitely make sure you've got a backup going. If you did find this video useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notifications button. And if you would like to hire us, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and click on that hire us button. I'll catch you in my next video.